I thought I would be bored by the time I beat my hundreds of thousands of enemy lackey. One Piece never let my happiness vanish. One Piece Pirate Warrior 4 is an Omega Yuzo game that has hundreds of single-handedly powerful bitches hero character, but it comes with typical baggage of distinction. It is not the best game in the earth. There are lots of reused assets of pirate games and outs, selected few boss fights, and a horde of lackeys that has fewer to no resistance. All that said, the One Piece Pirate Warrior 4 managed to surprise me with a well-thought-out combat system It has a ton of variety of selection, and more than 40 playable characters, excellent sexy battle support and a highly respectable intergalactic storytelling of One Piece's absolutely massive story Pirate Warrior 4 main story mode dramatic log attempts to summarize nearly 900 episodes worth of One Piece plot into a single 15-hour campaign. And that's insane as fuck. It's an impossible task, to be frank, but a lot of effort was made to make this storybook recap as entertaining and informative as it could possibly be. Everything is fully voiced by the original Japanese cast. There's a good mix of narration, still imagery and scenes from the show, recreate an engine to keep things visually interesting, and when they do decide to go all out and do a full-on CG version of One Piece's biggest moments. They always look and sound stunning with Omega Force's signature guitar riff heavy soundtrack pumping the background. Though many of those moments are straight up reused from prior Pirate Warrior games, it's also worth noting that if you're coming into Pirate Warriors or as anything less than a gigantic One Piece fans who have watched everything up to the start of the currently airing Wano arc, you're going to get spoiled big time. This is definitely is not a replacement for actually watching the show. Pirate Warriors 4. Cover six main arcs, Alabasta, Uli's Lobby, Paramount War, Rizrosa, Whole Cake Island, and the might epic original version of the Wano arc that exists solely to give Pirate Warriors 4 an actual ending, since the real Wano arc isn't finished yet, those who played Pirate Warrior 3 make it a little bit to Javi, as only completely new arcs are Cake Island and Wano, but Pirate Warriors 4 goes much deeper into each of them than its predecessor, with each arc having 5 to 7 missions to tell its story. Each mission has its own selection of playable characters to choose from, with some levels restricting you to just the one character that's relevant to the story, while others allow you to choose from a wide variety of heroes that are present in the scene. I always jump at the opportunity to try out a new character, and fortunately those opportunities present themselves at just about every turn. It was this variety that kept dramatic log fun and interesting throughout its 15-hour length, despite the repetition inherent to Pirate Warrior's 4 game plan. The dramatic log is the main course of Pirate Warriors 4, but there's a treasure log mode which is a series of mostly context-list level that come with their own rewards, and ready-made challenge just about everything in the Pirate Warriors 4. It can be played with two players co-op and split-screen or online, but certain levels and treasure log can also be played online for players multiplayer. The implementation of aerial combat is not perfect. Some characters are given the ability freely, but the controls are messy. There's no way to control your height, which can make it frustratingly difficult to hit enemies when you're above them, and sometimes a character can move so fast, that can actually be hard to focus on a single enemy like a commander or a boss, if you need to take them down first. Above everything else. Pirate Warrior 4 is a one-piece power trip, and it's a really good one at that, just about every character feels insanely strong in their own satisfying way. Omega Force has done an excellent job with its progression mechanics as well. Not only does each character have their own skill trees that build upon their arsenal of unique moves and stats, but there's also a universal skill tree that provides bonuses to all characters. It's great to spend resources making everyone a little bit stronger. Or you focus on making a single, but powerful character that you might use for only one level. Between the 15-hour story mode, the many hours that will take to complete the treasure log, and unlockable characters that are tied to getting S ranks on missions. There's a ton of worthwhile content in Pirate Warrior 4 that will keep you busy for quite some time. One Piece Pirate Warrior 4 is an excellent One Piece game, and though it wears its many flaws on its own, its smart additional combat go a long way in reducing the notorious regicide that typically plays the Muso genre it's still tough to sell to a non-One Piece fan. But as someone who absolutely loves One Piece and was just only sort of into Muso games, I find a ton to like in Pirate Warrior 4, and for more One Piece games please check my channel and do subscribe and like the videos.